have some genius Dollar Tree Pro home hacks that are going to blow your mind. Plus, some all new products at Dollar Tree like, let me get it. Da -da. Oh my word, look at this egg holder. It even has a little handle right here where you can pull it in and out of your refrigerator. I also have some hicks, hicks and tricks for you. I got hicks and tricks for you. <laughs> and along those same lines, I'm gonna show you how to use this egg maker. Egg, egg storage, egg storage container. Not like Hicks talk like that, that's just wrong. Egg storage container, this is amazing. I bought so many of these on Amazon, Timu, God knows where, Aldi, Home Goods, but today, Dollar Tree's got your back for a dollar 25 or a dollar 50, depending upon where you live. I know, it's highway robbery. Plus, I have a home hack for you that was inspired by one of you. So if you have really deep cabinets where you gotta like reach and basically try to crawl and put your body, I just cracked a hip there by the way. <laughs> crawl and put your body inside the cupboard. This is absolutely phenomenal and you are not gonna wanna miss it. And even if you don't have a cabinet that you have to crawl inside, you're gonna wanna know this one. I did not think of this one myself, so thanks to you. Oh, and a quick update with this Dollar Tree pop socket, if you will. It's been on here for several weeks and it is still holding strong to manage my cord or any long cord that you may have in your home. Doesn't that look just beautiful and so functional? Too. A new product alert at Dollar Tree. Shiny steel. I have never seen these before. Generally, I'm not impressed with Dollar Tree sponges, but you just wait, my friend. You can buy something very similar that's highly rated on Amazon for about $13, but why would we do that? We can put our money elsewhere. Non-scratch, two-in-one. I was a little hesitant, but this is nice and thick. It's got the soft side. It's got the more abrasive side for cleaning those stainless steel sinks. Look at this holder. One of you asked where I got this. I actually bought it at Ikea. It's been great, but it looks real nasty. So I just wanted to update it really quickly. And I thought, well, I'm cleaning out this sink and showing you some tips and tricks when it comes to the sponge and cleaning your stainless steel sink. I might as well give this a little bit of a refresh. So I got my sponge nice and wet with some warm water. I wanted to try this out without any product involved so that you could see how well this works. I was so impressed by this. Look at this. All those mineral deposits, hard water spots, are just coming off. You can really see the difference right here. Again, no chemicals with just this Dollar Tree sponge and the quality on it, it is so good. I'm impressed. Sometimes I kind of want to just hate Dollar Tree products, but when I'm really impressed with one, I'm like jumping for joy. Look at this sink. Look it, look it, look it. Every three days or so, it will start to look like this. One of my favorite products to use on stainless steel is this Barkeeper's Friend. Nothing in this video is sponsored, so I wanted to go in with this product that has just a nice, pleasant smell to it. If you have nothing stainless steel in your house and you're like, Andrea Jean, I'm bored with the stainless steel, fast forward to about the seven minute mark of this video, but I do have some really great tips and tricks along the way when it comes to making things nice and shiny. Again, the quality on the sponge is just very, very good. Good. I'm so impressed. I need to go back and stack up so I have these in my cleaning arsenal. So if you have any sort of stainless steel, make sure you grab one of these sponges the next time you're in Dollar Tree if it's available. Now I always like to dry out my sink to make sure that those water spots and mineral deposits are all gone and you can see yes they are because sometimes when it dries they poke through. Thumbs up if you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to get to a product here really shortly that is so good but look at the refrigerator. Lots of fingerprints almost every single day. It, it looks like this. We don't use handles in the house. Apparently we just I don't know, claw at the side. And then my dishwasher, you can see here at the top, there's this sticky substance. And because I read all the comments, Stephanie says she has a friend who recommended Zep stainless steel cleaner. She has a friend in Virgin Islands who cleans high-end villas. And just an FYI, usually in the Dollar Tree bonus section, you can find several Zep products. It is a good line and I'm going to show you in later in this video another Zep related product. But I have tons of stainless steel cleaners. You can see here I'm always trying to find the best way to clean to make it easier. This smells just like WD-40 so if you don't mind that and if you clean with microfiber towels your whole laundry room will have the essence of WD-40. So just a heads up on that. This smells much better with a fresh lemony scent.
Now I do love this Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner. Now when you clean stainless steel, particularly with fingerprints, refrigerators, the front of your dishwasher, you're gonna to wanna to grab a washcloth. I'll show you why here in just a second. But if I had to choose between those two products, I would choose the Sprayway for smell reasons only. How about these Wyman Stainless Steel Wipes? Great idea in theory. However, in my experience, it leaves everything really streaky and you have to keep rubbing and buffing and rubbing and buffing. And then it makes your hands all greasy so i do not love this product uh so stainless steel spray weight for the win we're going to go ahead and clean the front of this refrigerator we're going to grab our dollar tree car washing mitt yes get it in the automotive section here you can use this for dusting i'll show you a little bit later but it's great for cleaning the outside of your refrigerator but look at this it's looking all nice and shiny with our spray weight cleaner it cleans exactly same as the zep cleaner it just smells better in my humble opinion. I actually just saw cleaning mitts very similar to this in Target, the Bullseyes Playground at the front of the store if you're interested, but I love it has two sides. I have more of a scrubby side and a buffing side, so this is great for so many different reasons. And an update on this, this has been here about five days and it is still sticking strong with heavy items inside and I did not even need to use any sort of Vaseline hairspray or anything to keep it sucky, so that's good. A cat in the cradle says she recommends Sheila Shine for cleaning stainless steel. However, it has a funky, not so pleasant scent. So you better believe I went out and bought this made in the USA. I thought that was fantastic. It's local. And then here's just the back of the can in case you are interested in this product. And I do have to say it smells exactly like acetone, WD-40, something yeah, chemically related, just a heads up on that, but it works just as great as the other products. Normally something like this, this is sticky. I would have to get a wet washcloth, clean it up, and then go in with the shine. So I'm gonna see if Sheila Shine can just do it all at once. That's something that's frustrating about stainless steel cleaners. They're so oil-based that they just glide over anything stuck on. So you may need to bring in some backup. All right, Sheila. Pretty darn good, but not the greatest. So out of all of these money-making stainless steel cleaners, which one would I select for myself and for you to use on a continuous basis? Out of this, we would recommend we, meaning I am sitting here by myself recording this spray away stainless steel cleaner and polish. It smells fantastic. So many of you have recommended lemon oil for so many different purposes. So I went ahead and bought this off of Amazon made in the USA. And there's so many different uses for this you can also use it in your sink and that's what we're going to be using here today so once you've gone in with your dollar tree amazing stainless steel sponge you're going to want to finish it with this and you'll see why in just a second okay the top on this is genius look at that tiny hole there so you're not wasting a ton of product when you're pouring this into your microfiber rag or towel or whatever else you are using i've never seen something like this before just it's the little things that really make my life and you save money because you're not pouring excess product but look at how shiny this is and it's been about five days later and it is repelling water the mineral deposits are not sticking and the water deposits are not sticking as they normally would because of this nice barrier and protective coat that is now on my sink okay dollar tree i have something very disturbing coming up regarding this toilet cleaning gel i was hopeful it seems so promising and any way to make your life easier and amazon they're selling this for about over four dollars so i thought hey i'm gonna save myself a ton of money one dispenser with 14 flower stamps how cute in my toilet would this be and so this is how you do it you put this little end here and you push through and then there's a cap on the outside where you can push through your flower decoration you ever thought about decorating your toilet i know it's the strangest thing but this is how you use it you just press it into your toilet it's kind of strange it's kind of weird it looks weird i will say that but most things related to the toilet do look weird i was hopeful i gave it a flush and you can see what's happening yes update on the toilet cleaning gel this has to be a big thumbs down for me it's been about five days and look at that it just looks like a big pimple in your toilet yes the toilet's dirty you'll see a segment coming up where i clean that so anyway and it doesn't really smell like anything and if it does clean which Clearly it doesn't. It only like cleans this tiny area right here where the water drips down. So save you a dollar, my friend. There's better stuff on the market. That's where you belong. I just realized something. This is so nasty. I think one of my boys got into this because it's wiped here on the top of the seat. Oh my word. If you have kids that are curious and like to get into stuff, all the more reason not to have that. Ugh. 
Thumbs up if you love a good campfire or you like camping and making s'mores and all the tasty things. Dollar Tree, this is the first time I've seen this, are these fire starters. So we put two in our fire pit. We had some family over, wanted to see if this lit the fire, made the logs go a blazing so that we could cook our delicious marshmallows. And I have to say, I was very impressed with this product. This product is definitely a thumbs up for me and it's gonna make your life easier. Okay, here are these egg storage containers. You can see right here, it's kind of next to uh, laundry in my Dollar Tree. So this is one I actually got on Timo. It is so pretty and fancy, but you cannot snack anything. You can snack anything. You can't stack anything on top. So it fits 12 eggs. I wanted to see, can I fit another one on top? Would it fit in there? No, just 12 eggs go in this, but that's good enough for $1.25 for this contraption. It's the best deal that I've ever seen when it comes to egg storage containers. And what's great about it is there's these sort of raised bumps, lines, if you will, on top. So that that way when you stack them they're not sliding around they can kind of catch so these eggs are precious and not getting broken grab yourself a dry erase marker so if you want to do hard-boiled eggs in one you could just label the container and regular eggs in the other that way no one is confused but look at how nice this looks and I've even increased the vertical storage space in my refrigerator because of this simple Dollar Tree gem if you see this snag it snag a couple for you a friend your church friend a stranger on the street really anybody new cute item alert i saw these and it's like andrea no you don't need them what are you gonna put in these they're cute they're small but actually when i did a timo review video recently i had something very similar not as cute as the dollar tree version they're pliable they're bendable yet sturdy enough to put a lot of different things in here i'm going to show you several different ways to use them my refrigerator is somewhat organized but this is great for again increasing that vertical space if you wanted to put some cucumbers in there how about some strawberries yes they look so beautiful nice in this little container it almost looks like you you got your own strawberries from your very own garden makes it more appetizing makes you want to eat it and and eat healthier because it looks so pretty in your fridge i know people are going to ask me about the silicone lid cover it's amazing i'm going to link in the description box below for you that salad is three days old and is still looking great because it is so airtight sealed another money saving tip for your dollar tree you need to get on it and get one of these okay when you have raspberries they drip in the refrigerator and then they start to stain so these little carrying baskets are perfect for putting your raspberries in there and then when you're ready to wash them you can go ahead and do that and you can easily pull it in and out how about some tea storage look at this this is adorable for storing all your teas or little packets of things if you have a lot of those in your refrigerators like mayos and ketchups that you may just accumulate from pickup or eating out this is actually a magazine holder and this is how i store all of my plastic bags and napkins but you could also use these little carrying baskets to put your plastic bags in and then on the outside you could label it like snack bag stand stand sandwich bag i can't speak today this is the first time i've seen this product in my dollar tree and i've seen some other youtubers talk about this product and they rave about this product you got to get this for your refrigerator it's amazing but look at this it just falls down it's because of my shelves and I, I'm thinking that most refrigerator shelves are not flat so if you are going to use this you cannot push it all the way through in fact on the top of it there's these kind of mini ridge stoppers as you can see here that's telling you where to stop it so that it will easily stay in place it's great for storing leftovers so that they are front and center so i loved it for that purpose but it's kind of a waste in my opinion i don't know it, i don't know it's a toss-up but at the same time i'm like save your dollar 25. okay these two tiered decorating trays sorry for the weird strobe light effect going on right now i don't know what's happening in dollar tree it's like a highlight to this item but i know these can get really pricey so currently in the bonus section they were five dollars but if you go over to the typical 125 section i saw this white tray i have a clever little trick for you it says gather i'm not a big decorator in fact like none at all for the holiday season i cannot be bothered by it but i know many of you appreciate that you're going to grab yourself some wallpaper this is great quality for doing different crafting related things and in fact i showed this in a previous video where i took a thrifted tray and then just put some dollar tree wallpaper inside to jazz it up a bit update it make it look more beautiful but look at all this thanksgiving decor that's already available especially i saw these trays 
in the five three dollar section so if you see the white one apparently that one's a dollar 25 but these ones are like three or five dollars so strange i know okay this turntable five dollars again if you love decorating for fall i'm not ready for fall let's just stay here summer a bit longer but all the stores are on it now like getting you ready to buy all the stuff how about these essential disinfecting wipes i am a fan of disinfecting wipes especially for cleaning a quick job i'm going to show you something here in just a second they also have the renewing rain flavor if you will. Sometimes I make statements and you guys do not believe me, but let me just prove it to you. Lisa's clean toilet every day. You gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. So I went ahead and pulled all the cleaners from underneath my sink to show you what I use on a typical basis so you know what I'm going to be applying. Window clean, that's from Dollar Tree. I have the wipes back there because it's great for quick jobs that I'll show you. A Zep toilet bowl cleaner, which I love. This is a Dollar Tree bucket. Yep, I love putting dirty microfiber towels in there should you use them, of course. A good pair of bathroom cleaning gloves we have our timer ajax i'm loving the smell however it does have sort of this pink residue it does wipe off uh it doesn't stain your towels i was curious about that but i went ahead and timed myself and my camera fell down as i was i was doing this i want to show you how fast it actually takes me to clean this bathroom every single day so with resetting up my camera i actually leave this room to go grab some microfiber towels you can see they magically appeared right there because i thought i might need them but i do this every day i have two little boys i I have neighbor kids. I have a soon-to-be person potty training, so this gets nasty. They leave their toothpaste stuck in the sink, and I can't handle it. Look at the time. Guess how quick I actually did that. 319. It would have been faster, but I was dealing with the camera and running out, so it usually probably takes me about three minutes to clean this. And wipes are amazing if you want to do a quick, clean job. Keep these underneath every bathroom sink so that you can quickly wipe stuff down and make it smell amazing. Storage cubes. I use these all the time in my clients' homes. I thought $3. I loved this navy and gold pattern. It was gorgeous, but I was really anticipating these to be like cheapy cubes, which they typically are in the 125 section, but I bought a couple of them. I tried them out and this in a, is an amazing product it is much cheaper at Dollar Tree you can see here it's about 439 per piece at Walmart and that's typically where I would get them and it's also cheaper than at Target you can see this is the Walmart version same size these are ones that I used in a previous project for a client they look awesome but you can see all the different ones that I bought I think about like 15 of these I just like to have them on hand when I go into clients home so I can do it affordably make it very functional but make it beautiful all at the same time time i loved this mint green one again i have no idea where i'm going to use this at this point but if you're wondering about these bins yes they are great quality and it's a great way to sort of hide the chaos of certain items now this one i was hopeful for the collapsible storage container i again reviewed something similar on timu i wanted to see how the dollar 25 version compared to this one so i bought two i really should have just bought one one. When it comes to storage solutions, you don't want to go super, super cheap and not good quality because it's going to look more junky in the long run because the bins are going to just start to cave in on each other and just fold and just, it just, it doesn't look good. Trust me. But look at this. It's weird lid top. It doesn't even do much. It just looks weird. Look at this. And hardly Velcros. It doesn't lay flat. Do not buy this product. I would not recommend it. Save your dollar twenty-five. In fact, save two or three dollars so that you can buy the three dollar version if you do have a dollar tree plus section. Now here's a clever hack for you. You may have seen these gold trays. I've never bought the gold tray because I didn't have a use for it. However, I showed these collapsible baskets for bathroom supplies in last week's video. But if you put a gold tray on the inside, you make it more sturdy. So you could put cleaning product in here. You could put hair and beauty products in here without them tipping over and falling over. This is a Dollar Tree bin that I showed in a previous video for stacking sandals. However, I have six people in this family, so I need something a bit larger. It's nice. It pulls in and out. Don't put anything heavy in here because that handle will bust off. This is a $3 bin at Dollar Tree's bonus section, but it's great for putting all our sandals in and the kids can easily access them and it looks organized. I love it all, all at the same time. And then look at these cute little bins. This is on the bottom shelf near the candle incense area. $1.25 for these gems. This is a perfect like drop 
location. This is a refresh project that we just did open face closet. So these tips, whether you're six or 106 will apply to you. But I use those little baskets that I just showed you in this closet refresh because it had to be functional, but also a bit of a work of art because there are no doors on the closet. Check out these vases. I have something similar from Amazon that is larger, but this size here about the size of my hand, as you can see, is gorgeous for just a little decor in your home. Again, $1.25 for these. I was so impressed. I wanted to buy a ton of them, but I have to put the brakes on because unless I have a specific project in mind to use them for, I mean, I would be the hoarder of uh, organizing supplies, which I probably already am. But look at these really gorgeous vases. Now, I didn't hold back. I actually did buy one of them. I bought the blue one to go with my beachy home decor, but it looks great here. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my super thanks supporters that allow me to go into clients' homes and clean and organize for free. I love sharing those with you and thanks to your contributions for PayPal or Venmo. If you PayPal or Venmo me, YouTube does not take over 30%. I know it's kind of wild, right? Yeah, super thanks, get deducted at over 30%. But I'm still so grateful for them and I use all those contributions to go into clients' homes. And actually very soon here, one of you in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area emailed me a viewer. We met via YouTube. I know, super cool. I'm gonna be going into her home and helping her with a refresh project. So stay tuned for that one. Let's get up close and personal, shall we? teeth whitening strips. So many of you asked me how my teeth stay so white with being a avid coffee drinker. The truth of the matter is, is it's genetic. I brush my teeth twice a day. I will use these white strips every once in a while. And man, they are pricey. I don't use them as prescribed, so to speak. I'll just use one um, from time to time when I re realize that I have them on hand. So I was very hopeful with these. I got the coconut one. I, I tore them off and it was really weird to apply. Um, I've used white strips for many years now and so I know what it's supposed to feel like and these just like shriveled up when I took them off the wrapper and I'm like am I doing something wrong I, it seems weird this isn't the first roadie of using something like this but it's just no don't buy this this is so weird let me know if you've had a different experience with any of these ultimate white strips per dollar tree just just weird and nasty okay this is not what you think it is it's, it's not for the bedroom <laughs> wink wink it well maybe it could be okay keeping it rated g this is a travel uh, electric toothbrush i saw these on amazon i thought this is genius 15 dollars because i love my electric toothbrush but i can't take it traveling because it's huge and it's got this big charging stand so i grabbed one of my rechargeable batteries if you don't use rechargeable batteries i highly recommend them because it's going to save you so much money in the long run but taking this thing apart to put the battery in and then trying to twist off the top of the toothbrush was like a, like a whole to do. So let's put this baby in action. After the vibrating sound, I thought, well, this is promising. This is hopeful, but it was it was really weird. Like it didn't help dissolve any of the toothpaste. Don't waste your money on this unless you want to try it with other related things. Moving on, the mini manicure set with case. So many times I need items in a case such as this, so I wanted to test out the quality and in particular the scissors. I am a lefty. Will I be able to cut this? You know when you have random strings in your car or on a shirt and it worked amazing. I love all the tools in here. The nail clipper was great quality as well. It fits perfectly in my purse. So if you're ever in a pinch and you need all of the clipping supplies, I recommend having that. How about this brush drying mat? I didn't know it was at the beginning because I'm like, it just looks like a really tasty watermelon. So in a previous video, I showed you this makeup brush cleaner. I was not a fan and I would spray it on and then I got my towel all dirty and I was able to get the stains out. So I thought this is going to be perfect. There was some weird like butt hold belly button thing on there. <laughs> Something weird happened in production. So it's very grippy. You can see here, I thought, ooh, the suction on this is awesome. So I just went in with my DIY Dawn Power Wish Spray, put on the mat, just went to town here with my brush to see how well it would take the blush and makeup off. And it did a fantastic job. And I always like to rinse my brushes. I just don't want any product or residue left on them. And then I just try to wring them out 
uh, very well so that they can dry. And I say they, I only have two makeup brushes, one for blush and one for eyeshadow. So this one gets used all the time. It gets all the love and I've been able to maintain it very nicely. This is an unconventional use for it, but if you are cooking and you want something that you can easily wash and clean, but things will get trapped in the grooves, you can use it for that. Okay, in the food section, I saw these mini Ben & Jerry ice creams, about 25, and I thought this is cheaper than going to get an ice cream cone and it helps with portion control. So if you ever struggle with like late night, getting your pint of ice cream and then you look down and you're like, what happened to all the ice cream? Well, now, now you, you don't even have to think about it. Boom Chicka Pop Popcorn, I love the sweet and salty, and then the popcorners I absolutely love as well. So if you're looking for more healthy snacks, uh, Dollar Tree's got some great options. Okay, I just had to show you this. Is it just me? I've never seen a uh, soda Coke can this large before. I was like, what? It's on steroids, 16 ounces for that. These Reese's Thins in the dark chocolate. I also love these, but I'd never seen it in dark chocolate and in a small bag like this. It's satisfying. I didn't think they would be because they're thinner, but I get the same effect. These are not new. However, the colors are new for me. Now, Halloween is coming. I thought if you're having a party, then you can get the black and the orange. I actually went with the mint green. Maybe I'll just hang out with uh, my glass jar here and my, my green mint green storage bins and it will be a party. I would literally be in my happy zone conjuring up what to put in them. new cleaning supply alert at least i've never seen this before i have to say the packaging was kind of unimpressive i'm like this looks plain this looks boring but maybe that's where the secret heavy foam cleaner great for i love foam for cleaning the bathtub because you can just get in there really easily and this is my favorite brush and then i go in with my dollar tree bucket to rinse everything off and i thought this smells just like the kaboom cleaner i swear to you it smells exactly like it and it works as effectively as the name brand version so i do recommend this shower cleaner now how about this dusting spray again very generic label i i don't know i love dusting spray it's just like a nice scent i hate dusting so it makes me want to dust a little bit more because i love all the smells and i want to try it on a couple of surfaces here we have this black one and then this brown one that get dusty really frequently and i have to tell you like it's stunk i did not like it so go with dollar trees chases furniture polish i love this it smells awesome it smells just like a burst of lemon in your home and okay check this out fun popper sensory toy. So I thought if you were stressed with cleaning and organizing, maybe you just need to squeeze this ASMR. It'll calm you right down. It's great, but it might be annoying to everyone else around you. And it kind of looks like a pile of poop. You know, that poop emoji. <laughs> Next time you're at Dollar Tree, you're gonna wanna grab one of these easels for a fun home hack and clever and functional at once. It comes in a couple of colors. You can see here to make space in my cupboard for storing a variety of different things, pot holders, the Dollar Tree glass cleaning wipes, which stink. I, I clean the outside in random places with that. But I use a bookend to keep everything stacked up. Well, this easel is amazing. So you can easily see what towels you have in there. They're not falling over. I love this little trick and hack. You could also use this in a dresser in order to see your shirts. And now for our viewer inspired trick, you are absolutely going to love this one. So here's what Natalie B does. She takes those old magnets, you know, that you get from different stores or vendors wanting you to display their business. She cuts them up into little pieces and then she takes a label maker that she already has on hand and then she labels them with commonly used things that she would keep in her pantry. She puts them on top of the cans and she can see easily what is in the cupboard or the pull-out drawer or whatever you have just by looking at the top of the can. That was such a clever idea. Yeah, wasn't it? If you have a brilliant idea that you have found helpful in your home and you want to share it at large with this community, please email me at andreagene360 at gmail.com and maybe your little trick, your home hack will be featured in the next video. And, or, you know, both and, both and, if you have made a transformation in your home, a really great refresh of before and after, email me that. My hope is to inspire you in your home when it comes to all things cleaning and organizing and having fun and 
drinking lots of coffee along the way. If you have not, make sure that you sign up for the free weekly cleaning and organizing newsletter that is linked in that description box below so that you will be the first to know of all the fun, best things going on around here. And on a road to 1 million subscribers, if you would please share out this video to Facebook, Pinterest, your friends, and your family, I appreciate I appreciate you greatly. <laughs> I appreciate you greatly. Hi, yay, yay. Yeehaw, partner. If you want to see an amazing pantry makeover, click this video on screen now. But if you want to see some more Dollar Tree Pro home hacks, click this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.